Have you ever stopped to consider how your thoughts shape your reality? It's a profound question, isn't it? But it's one that's worth pondering. You see, our thoughts are not just random, fleeting ideas that dart in and out of the mind. They are powerful forces that can shape our actions, our habits, and ultimately, the reality we experience every day. Let's dip our toes into the vast ocean of thought power. Thoughts, in essence, are more than just mere words that float through our minds. They are the architects of our actions. They serve as the blueprints that guide our movements, our decisions, and our reactions. When you think about it, everything we do, every step we take, every word we utter begins as a thought. Now consider this. Our actions, born from our thoughts, have consequences. They ripple outwards, impacting the world around us. They can alter our relationships, our careers, our health, and so much more. In this way, our thoughts through our actions shape our reality. It's like casting a stone into a pond. The initial splash is our thought, the ripples are our actions, and the altered state of the pond is our reality. Let's put this into context with a few examples. Think about the athlete who visualizes their performance before a big game. Their thoughts guide their actions, their actions influence the game, and the game becomes their reality. Or consider the inventor who imagines a new device. Their thoughts lay the groundwork for their actions. Their actions bring the device into existence, and the device becomes a part of our shared reality. The power of thought is a remarkable thing. It's like having a magic wand that can shape the world around us. But like any tool, it requires skill and practice to use effectively. It's not enough to just think. We must learn to think effectively, to think with intention, to master our thinking. So if you want to change your reality, the first step is to master your thinking. Because at the end of the day, our thoughts aren't just thoughts, they are the seeds of action, the architects of our reality. And by mastering our thinking, we can change our reality for the better. Now the question arises, how do we master our thinking? Well, the journey to mastering your thoughts is like a trek up a mountain. It's not a quick sprint, but a gradual climb that requires effort, resilience, and determination. The first step in this journey is gaining an understanding of the process involved in mastering your thinking. It's not a magic trick that you can learn overnight. It is a skill, a habit that needs to be cultivated and nurtured over time. It's about learning to control and direct your thoughts towards positivity and productivity, rather than letting them run wild and lead you astray. Now, imagine your mind as a garden. If you let it grow wild, it will be overrun with weeds. But if you tend to it, nurture it and give it the right care, you can grow beautiful flowers and fruits. That's exactly what mastering your thinking is about, tending to the garden of your mind. But how do you start tending to this garden? That's where self-awareness comes into play. It's the tool that allows you to recognize and understand your thoughts. It's the water that nourishes the plants and the shears that trim the weeds. Self-awareness is the key that unlocks the door to mastery over your thoughts. Understanding your thoughts and emotions, recognizing when they are negative or unhelpful, and then actively working to change them is the essence of self-awareness. It's about acknowledging that you are the gardener of your mind, and you have the power to decide what grows and what doesn't. This journey isn't easy. It requires patience, dedication, and a lot of hard work. But the rewards are worth it. Mastering your thinking can lead to a stronger sense of self, improved mental health, and a more positive outlook on life. Remember, mastering your thinking is not about suppressing or ignoring your thoughts. It's about understanding them, becoming aware of them, and then consciously directing them in a way that serves you best. Understanding your thoughts is the foundation of mastering them. And this journey, this climb up the mountain begins with that very foundation. So are you ready to start your journey? The first step towards mastering your thinking is to become aware of your thoughts. Let's dive into this. How can you become more aware of your thoughts? You might ask. Well, it all begins with mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present and engaged with what's happening in the now, not being distracted or overwhelmed by what's going on around you. When you're mindful, you can observe your thoughts and feelings without judging them as good or bad. Instead of letting your life pass you by, Mindfulness means living in the present and awakening to your current experience rather than dwelling in the past or anticipating the future. So how do you increase your mindfulness to become more aware of your thoughts? Here are some practical tips. First, slow down. In our fast-paced world, we often rush from one task to another, barely taking the time to breathe. By slowing down, we can focus more on our thoughts and feelings. 
This could be as simple as taking a few moments each day to sit quietly and focus on your breath. Second, practice meditation. Meditation is a powerful tool for increasing self-awareness. It allows you to quiet your mind and focus on the present moment. You don't need any special equipment or a lot of time to meditate. Just find a quiet place, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. If your mind starts to wander, gently bring your attention back to your breath. Third, keep a thought journal. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can help you become more aware of them. It's like holding up a mirror to your mind. You might be surprised at what you discover. And lastly, be patient with yourself. Becoming more aware of your thoughts isn't something that happens overnight. It's a process and it takes time. So don't rush it. Remember, awareness is like a light illuminating the dark corners of your mind. It allows you to see what's really going on in there. It's, it's the first step in understanding and eventually mastering your thinking. So be gentle with yourself and take it one step at a time. Remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Once you become aware of your thoughts, the next step is to analyze them. Now, you may be wondering, how does one analyze thoughts? It's simpler than you might think. Think of it like this. Imagine your mind as a busy city street. Each thought is a car whizzing by, some faster than others, some louder, some quieter. Your task is to be a traffic officer, standing by the side, observing each car, each thought, as it passes by. Just as a traffic officer would observe the make, model, and speed of each vehicle, you too will pay attention to the nature of each thought. What is its content? Is it positive or negative? Is it related to the past, present, or future? Is it factual or based on assumptions? The aim here is not to judge or change your thoughts, but simply to understand them better. By doing so, you can identify patterns and recurring themes that may be affecting your reality. Now, let's get practical. Here are some tips to effectively analyze your thinking patterns. Firstly, keep a thought journal. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, a simple notebook or a digital note on your phone will do. Whenever you catch yourself lost in thought, jot down what you were thinking about. Over time, you'll start to see patterns and common themes. Secondly, dedicate a few minutes each day to quiet introspection. This could be first thing in the morning, during a lunch break, or before bed. During this time, simply observe your thoughts without trying to change them. Finally, ask yourself probing questions. Why did this thought arise? What triggered it? How did it make me feel? What beliefs or assumptions is it based on? This will help you dig deeper and uncover the roots of your thinking patterns. Remember, this is not about criticizing or belittling yourself for certain thoughts. It's about understanding your mind better so that you can eventually steer it in the direction you want. Analyzing your thoughts will help you understand what needs to change. After analyzing your thoughts, it's time to take action. This is the part where you become the sculptor of your own mind. Changing your thinking patterns is a craft that requires dedication, perseverance, and a sprinkle of courage. It's not about snapping your fingers and expecting an immediate transformation. It's about molding your mind little by little with each passing day. So, how exactly do we change our thinking patterns? Well, it starts with a simple yet powerful concept, replacing negative thoughts with positive ones. Imagine your mind as a garden. Each thought is a seed. Negative thoughts are weeds, choking your beautiful flowers, while positive thoughts are the flowers themselves, blooming and spreading their fragrance. The key is to weed out the negative and plant more positive seeds. Now let's get practical. Let's talk about how to take action and implement changes. One effective strategy is to use affirmations. Affirmations are positive statements that can help you to challenge and overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. When you repeat them often and believe in them, you can start to make positive changes. Another strategy is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is all about being present and engaged in the here and now. It's about acknowledging your thoughts and feelings without judgment. By being mindful, you can catch those negative thoughts as they arise and consciously choose to replace them with positive ones. Visualize success. Use the power of your imagination to visualize yourself as the person you want to be, living the life you desire. Visualization triggers the same neural networks in the brain as the actual performance of the action, priming your mind for success. Remember, it's okay if progress seems slow. It's okay if you stumble along the way. The important thing is that you keep moving forward, keep planting those positive seeds and tending to your mental garden. 
Taking action is the first step to master your thinking. Mastering your thinking is not a destination, but a journey. A journey that starts with a single step, a single thought, and that journey continues with each action you take, each positive thought you plant. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Take the moment and make it perfect, because you are the master of your mind and the architect of your reality. So, you've mastered your thinking. What's next, you might ask? Well, let's take a moment to revisit the journey we've embarked on together. We've explored the power of thought, the path to mastering our thinking, and the crucial steps involved. Awareness, analysis, and action. Each step, a crucial tile in the mosaic of self-improvement has led us to this juncture. Now, let's delve into the crux of the matter. The piece de resistance, if you will. How does mastering your thinking change your reality? You see, our thoughts are the architects of our reality. They sketch the blueprint of our experiences and our perceptions. When you master your thinking, you essentially seize control of this architect's pen. You become the designer of your life's blueprint. Think about it. When you're aware of your thoughts, you start noticing patterns, themes, and recurring narratives. You begin to understand the kind of reality these thoughts are creating. By analyzing these patterns, you get a clearer picture of what's working in your favor and what's not. You identify the thoughts that are serving you and the ones that are holding you back. Then comes the action. When you consciously choose to keep the thoughts that uplift you and discard the ones that don't, you're essentially reshaping your reality. You're choosing to build a life that resonates with positivity, growth, and fulfillment. You're deciding to focus on the sunshine and let the shadows fall behind you. So by mastering your thinking, you're not just changing your reality on a superficial level. You're transforming it from its very core. You're choosing to live in a reality that's in harmony with your aspirations, your values, and your true self. The power to change your reality is not something you find outside. It's something you discover within in the realm of your thoughts. And now you, my friend, have unlocked this power. You are now the sculptor of your own reality, shaping it with the chisel of your thoughts. Now you hold the power to shape your reality the way you want. So, how will you use this power? That's the question we're left with as we near the end of our journey today. We've dived deep into the power of thought, exploring the immense potential it holds in shaping our reality. We discovered that our thoughts are not merely fleeting whispers in our mind, but powerful tools that can construct or deconstruct our world. We embarked on a journey to master our thinking, a journey that requires persistence and patience. It's a road less traveled, but the rewards are bountiful for those who dare to venture down this path. We started with awareness, the first step, where we learned to pay attention to our thoughts, to observe them without judgment. We uncovered that our thoughts are not us, but merely visitors passing through. This understanding is the foundation of our journey. Then we moved on to analysis, the second step. Here we learn to dissect our thoughts, to understand their origin and to determine if they are beneficial or detrimental to our well-being. We discovered that not all thoughts deserve our attention and it's within our power to choose which ones we entertain. Following this, we ventured into action, the third and final step. This is where we put our understanding into practice, where we learn to cultivate beneficial thoughts and discard the detrimental ones. This is where the real transformation begins. We've also delved into the power to change our reality. We learned that we are not mere spectators in the theater of life, but active participants who hold the power to shape our stories. Our thoughts are the paintbrush and our life is the canvas. So, as we wrap up, I invite you to start this process of mastering your thinking. It's not an overnight journey, but a lifelong commitment. It's a journey of self-discovery, of growth, and ultimately, of creating a better reality for yourself. Remember, the power to change your reality lies within you. It all starts with your thoughts.